guys, it's Matthew here at Gadget University, and I'm here with the HCC Trophy with Verizon. Now, this is Verizon's first, very, very first Windows Phone 7 device. And uh, I've played with the HD7 and the HTC Surround before, and I was very pleased with the build quality and the Windows 7 operating system. But uh, this is no different, guys. This is um, top notch HTC quality here. Um, you're getting the standard industrial design, you know, very kind of almost unibody, um, except the back cover, of course. Uh, you get a 5 megapixel camera, dedicated camera key, you got your, your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, power weight sleep button, you also have your volume rocker. Uh, on the left hand side is the micro USB port. Uh, personally, I'm not a fan of that because if you're trying to text while you are charging, it's really hard to. Our preferred spot is on the bottom, but that's just my personal preference. Um, before I get into the software of the device, I want to cover a little bit more about the hardware. Um, on the back, you pull off the back cover like this, and you are blessed with a 1300 milliamp battery. And this is a world phone, so you have a SIM card slot. Um, for and if you go over the overseas, now Windows Phone 7 is fairly new, and not to take any credit away from Microsoft with their new software, but once you've reviewed one Windows 7 handset, you've really reviewed them all. Only reason why I say that is because the software um, doesn't differentiate at all. Um, there's no difference here on this phone as far as the software goes rather than the uh, other devices I mean you do get a Verizon app to check your bill uh, which is the same thing on Sprint devices as well as uh, AT&T devices and T-Mobile so there's nothing really different there uh, Windows Mobile, or excuse me Microsoft I should say uh, right now they're basically standardizing what this software should look like uh, the standards are you know the three hard the three touch buttons on the bottom and you know all this pretty much looks the same so Windows Phone 7 I'm gonna cover a little bit about that uh, basically you have a tile home screen uh, you can add items you can pin items to the front uh, so you can want to pin the camera to the front you just press and hold it pin to start and now it's at the bottom so you can touch that and then there you go camera is very nice uh, works very well focus is very quick um, but the dedicated button too I really like that uh, now, uh, the browser, Internet Explorer, is super fast. Right now, Windows Phone 7 does not support Flash, so you're not going to get to take advantage of a lot of things on the web, but, I mean, there's still a lot of other great things out there that do not have Flash on there. Of course, you got GadgetU.net. Uh, so when you go to a website like GadgetU, uh, let me pull it up. I'm connected over a 3G connection right now, and it is a little... Uh, slow in my area for some reason today um, but pages render very nice um, when you're on a pretty fast connection whether you're on your Wi-Fi or you're in an area with great data speeds um, scrolling is very fluid it's a lot like the iPhone uh, and iOS they did a very good job with the browser Internet Explorer browser on these uh, Windows Phone 7 devices uh, you have tabs and, and other features like favorites and you know the typical features um, the Windows Phone 7 really shines in the Xbox Live uh, integration uh, with the games and the achievements and everything. That's really the, the, the best part about it. Uh, I do like the fact that on a lot of these games you get like a free trial and there's a trial version of the app and it's not an actual uh, item, uh, excuse me, it's not an actual uh, timed trial, it's a, just a set demo, kind of like a video game console. So that's pretty cool because um, you get to really experience the game before you buy it. Um, these games are actually very expensive. I mean, they're like $3.99, $4.99. So you want to make sure that you can try them out and see if you like the game before you actually make the big purchase. Um, other things like your social hub where it's going to show you your, like your Facebook and Windows Live account. Um, so you can see like everybody's all your status updates and things like that. Um, People hub shows everybody in your address book. And it will also show you things like options to look up and uh, view different status updates for different people 
Um, so it's pretty, it, that's very convenient. And Windows Phone 7 is very designed for just people who just like to see what's going on, pick up their phone, excuse me, pick up their phone, see what's going on, and put it back down. Uh, you got your email tile, touch your email, oh, I got an email, let me check that. I'm done reading it, let me put it back down. Um, it's not one of those devices that you're going to find yourself holding a lot unless you play games um, it's not to say there's something wrong with that it's just um, my opinion on it uh, Windows Phone is, has a long way to go but I think that when the Mango update comes out in the fall uh, which this phone will get it um, the Windows Phone 7 will be a very nice operating system a lot of the features that you're gonna be that they're gonna be bringing in the fall will be very nice uh, this does have the update where you can do copy and paste so it does support copy and paste if I can grab it there you go all you do is just touch it and you can drag it to the right and you hit the copy button so it does they did bring that feature into this phone this was came uh, in, pre-installed with it uh, well guys this has been my review of the HTC Trophy with Verizon uh, you can get it for $199.99 um, right now I think it's on sale for $99.99 uh, check your local Verizon store for the exact price but overall, guys, uh, if you're looking for a good, solid phone, Windows Phone 7 is for you. Uh, I really uh, think they did a, a good job with this one. All right, guys, y'all take care, and I'll see you in my next review. Peace.